everyone, welcome back on my channel. In previous video we focused about uh, time series data, we focus about forecasts, we focus about plot of the time series data, forecastings and measures, if our uh, forecasts are good or bad. Today we focus about data type. So first of all, uh, data type should be somehow sorted by the period of date. It can be day, it can be month, quarter, year, half year, it depends how your data looks like. And usually uh, there is uh, many options that your data will be plot and data will be sent to you. So this is the uh, um, data set that we see previously. You can see everything here. I just it took the schedule deliver data. This is the original format and everything that I, I will show you everything that I did to have it more clear that it show incorrect formatting. So first of all, let's check if this is even a the original data is even a time series data. Usually there is formula that I can use to check uh, some of the um, part of time series. So it can be year formula, right? It can, it can be year, okay, maybe this way. It can be day, it can be month. Let's put it in with year. So if you use it on the time series data, it should give you a uh, year information put it here. Here we can see that this is some error value. And let's put in our final and change data and it should give us the correct value. And this is it. So how I made everything. And yeah, the second step I did to see if data is not sorted and to show us the wrong plots, it was these plots. I used the, uh, the original schedule deliver data with line item quantity. And you can see that we have strange number like just numbers. This is not uh, first point is not the data. Then you can see that we are not sure if this is the same year. So it can be plotted with many options. And here we have our final product. So data is clearly uh, sorted with months and with years. And what I can, uh, what I did, for, uh, which formats I use for this pattern. So first of all, I use the left. Then I use the right formula, right, and in mid to be sure that I will took all the patterns. Then uh, I use the concatenate formula, so concatenate the information with dots and in the middle to have the correct formula. You can always use, in if, if you want the option, the date formula to see what is the points and what you, three steps that you should give. Excel that you have a time series data. So year, month, and day. Just after that, there all my necessary maintenance was done. I copied the data here, and then I plot the data to, to be sure if this is showing us the correct data. Uh, why this seems so important? If your data type, if, it, if your type of the data is not a time series, you will not able to plot good, good enough data. You're not able to use the forecast methods of this data, and it can be a problem for you to other um, to other ERP system to have it like with timing. That can be a problem in the future steps for your data. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.